Hello, I'm Roger Bisbee from the Skill Builder Channel and I've come to Cork in sunny Ireland to visit the Pipe Life factory. So we're going to go on a guided tour of the factory and see what they've got to offer. This is the mixing plant, Roger. So here we're, we're blending the ingredients together. The team here are controlling the mixers outside from the computers in here. We've got four mixers operating today. So in here we're making pipes, we're making fascia boards, and we're making roof line products. Of the 34 production lines, we're slowly replacing them to brand new ones. The green ones are the old ones, the grey ones are the new ones. And by the end of next year, all the old ones will be gone. Okay, Roger, so at this point, we're leaving behind the PVC waste products, and we're moving towards the hot and cold. All right, so this was your core business before. This is the bit you acquired. This is the extrusion of 15 mil pecs that's going on today for the UK. Do you know what, I remember this, it's six years ago, but I remember this machine, or one like it. Yeah, exactly. So let me just tell you what happened, see what I can remember. It's heated up through here, the raw material to form, coming through quite large through that kind of mandrel thing. Then it goes into here, cooled down. This is all chilled water. It doesn't look like that's moving, but that's moving rapidly through there. We've got dimensional and ovality checks going on here to make oh, okay. sure that the pipe was within tolerance for the British standards. The right outer diameter, the right internal diameter. Now, is this a standard 15 mil or is it 16? So this is 15 mil for the UK, so central heating, underfloor. The printing's happening down there as well. The most important thing it's showing you, and you can see the actual BSI symbol for the kite mark, and that's because we have the kite mark certification for the product. We are seeing a little bit in the UK market of non kite mark product coming in and what's concerning is some of the merchants some of the plumbers think they're buying a kite mark product what's actually happening is the manufacturer claims it's made to the kite mark but it doesn't have the kite mark so what they're doing is self-certifying yeah exactly so you could make pipe tomorrow and self-certify it the difference with us is if you have bsi involved and you have a kite mark somebody else is verifying your procedures when you're talking about a push fit plumbing system you, you don't want it to fail you know you want to buy a product with confidence what's that 25 meters yes yeah, so that's a 25 meter coil of 15 mil yeah. which would be one of, one of our best sellers do you know what when i was hitting stall alive in birmingham last year i saw everyone walking around with a coil of pipe life 25 meters was it on their shoulder or whatever they were very popular that day yeah hopefully that helps to establish your brand doesn't it the fact that we're making more pipe roger is, is to serve the demand and you made pipes for the big manufacturers and the big brands anyway didn't you for years historically we did that as part of our business uh, obviously everything now primarily is, is branded as pipe life yeah. Um, you'll be familiar with the Easy Lay product, which is the, the, yeah. the, the, the product in the blue wrapper you were talking about at the NEC. Everybody in Ireland knows the Pipe Life pipe in the tank colour. Very well established. We wouldn't change it. No, no. We wouldn't change can't, it. Can you? Do you know what? Like if you change the colour of it, you get people who say, oh, it's not as good since they changed the colour. They've done something to it. That's exactly what would happen. Yeah. It's funny, isn't it? People's perception. Do you know what? I love engineering. I mean, just the scale of it. How many production lines do you say there are here? There's 34 in here. 34 on the go. Did it go 24-7 or not? Yeah, 24-7. How much pipe do you actually make here then on those, all those production lines? Well, last year, we made enough pipe to go 17 times around the equator. Or to put it another way, from here to the moon and halfway back. Halfway back from the moon. I don't like the sound of that. You make a bit more pipe. <laughs> you saw the pecs being manufactured further down. This is the easy lay, so it's the polybutylene product. Okay, so it's going through a very, very similar process. Two lines running today on easy lay. Remember when you asked me about the, the blue coils at the installer show at the NEC oh, yeah, last yeah. year? Well, if you look at the two drums in front of you down here, 30,000 meters per drum. This is all product that's going over to the UK in, within the next couple of weeks. That's going to be packaged here, isn't it? It's not going over like that, is it? So we put it onto the larger drum, yeah. and then we take it off the larger drum and rewind it into smaller coils. That happens in the packing hall, so we can have a look at that later. So I remember last time I was here, you got a camera looking for imperfections on the pipe and you also had a pressure test thing going on. Did I miss that there? Was that done on that bit or not? It's still all going on. Yeah. I mean, the, the same and more. So I'll show you the new, the new quality control room, which is bigger and better. Obviously, as the factory's grown, the quality lab has had to grow as well. 
this is all the certification for the products we have. RAS approval, Regulation 31 approval, which is applying to it's a range a, of different that's products. That's DEFRA, isn't it? <clears throat> that's DEFRA. As we were referring to earlier, what you're looking for Got is it. the actual kite mark yeah. symbol. It's tricky for the installer to know. And it's frustrating for us when you do all those checks and balances. Obviously, you can see the scale of the, the, the quality control department mm. for the company. Yeah, it's yeah. huge. But there's your assurance. There's your guarantee. There's the thing that if, if there is a problem, your insurance company is going to go, yeah, well, OK, fair enough. So, Ken, this is big stuff, isn't it? Yeah, so this is your P100, the certified by the NSAI, your Reg 31. Oh, OK, yes. So what we do with these pipes is, as per our standard procedure, we have to actually put them in here like this. Put them on the caps. Pressure caps. Just the pressure caps. Up there, yes. Of valve, yeah. Absolutely. Put them into these tanks here. They're 80 degrees, and we pressurize to about 10 bar pressure. Standard is about 130 hours. This one is left in at about 300 hours. So when you're putting 10 psi in there, why? Because you know it's never going to run at that. No, it never runs at that. But as per the standard, so we have to adhere to the standard. So it's completely over-engineered, really. Absolutely over-engineered. <laughs> yeah, it'll never yeah. break. It'll never do it. Yeah. But the reason why we do the additional time is again to show confidence in the product we make. This would be for our sewer pipe. Again, so this would be a compression test. This machine can also do tensile testing, so it can actually test the, the quality of the plastic itself. So, this is the, uh, what's this, 15 mil? This is a 15 mil 25, 25 yeah. easy lay. This is exactly what we'll be sending to install the show. Oh, this is the stuff you see yeah. carrying, man. It's exactly the coil. Over the shoulder. Yeah, I exactly. think one of the things about this pipe as well is that portability, yeah. because in the back of your van, you can stick a few rolls of this in there, you haven't got to worry about the roof rack, the legs, it's just in there. Yeah, not, nice and easy, easy to carry, easy to yeah. store. I must admit, I rarely buy the 25s, I normally buy the 50s, you know, yep. just... 25 and 50s, both of them be they're best sellers for us. So this is lovely stuff, isn't it? You wouldn't want to put this over your shoulder. Yeah, insulated, ducted, and obviously then you've got, you've got two pipes as well, two barrier pipes yeah. within that, encased, in, 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 encased inside. This is Irish pipe for the Irish market. Ten colour, yeah. yeah. And obviously we have Same a, pipe, different colour. Yeah, and then in the UK market, we have a, a, a wider range available under the main core brand. So different diameter pipes, different colour pipes. They could use it for heating or water supplies yeah. or whatever. Whatever. Wherever you need to need to transport water from A to B under the ground. In the past when I've been doing jobs like this, I've had to get a bit of underground drainage pipe, shove this pipe inside it, thread sleeving through all the way. Yeah just to try it and then it's a wing and a prayer whereas this is ready made isn't it ready yeah go, so. saves saves a lot of bother we can sell this by the meter okay. or somebody can take it in a full a full coil which goes up to 100 meters and we've got different different diameters so you can get a 100 meter coil of this that yeah 100 meter coil a merchant would take it from us in 100 and they could cut it to length in-house so they could buy five meters 20 meters whatever the installer requires yeah but it's a great product the demand for it is is increasing all is the time it? yeah we're selling more and more would and more that be of because it because of heat pumps or yeah, i think that's an element of it yeah, it's, 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 it, yeah it's got to be. So this is a product that I'd really love to see in the yeah. UK, which is insulated pipe in pipe. Yeah. So obviously that isn't full insulation in terms of a loft or something, but it, it's got an element of insulation in it. Yeah. Well, we make, there's, there's different thicknesses of insulation that can be applied to it. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, this is, this is very popular in the Irish market. It's, it's great. It? Yeah, it's a what, great product. What a lovely idea. So this one's staying in Ireland, this truck. How do you know that? Colour of the pipe, ten pipe. Well done, Roger. You're learning already. We've got about 25 trucks a day going out, 10 trucks a day coming in. It's a heck of a management, transport-wise. Obviously, some of these go over the water. There's a, there's a huge number of trucks that go over the water every day, back to the UK. So, so yes, split between UK and Ireland.